welcome to the RAC, Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and creativity begins. So for the month of December, you're going to be watching me trying to create homemade and hopefully affordable presents for my coworkers and friends. I hope you enjoy. So for this project I used a random assortment of acrylic paints that I had available. Black, dark blue, a dark violet, a light purple, a red, an orange, and a yellow. And the main thing that you want to remember with this project is blending. So things, oh also I had this neon blue, but the blending is the key part. You want to make sure that your paints are still wet whenever you go to blend them. So if you use a matte medium or some sort of medium, it helps keep the paints wet or moist so that it gives you more time to work with them because acrylics dry super fast. So I start with just laying down my base colors and you know how most base coats of things go it's not the most attractive thing that you're going to be looking at Now that we have the base colors done, the next thing that we're working on is just blending 
our sky, blending that galaxy nebula shape out in our piece. So I'm using a dry brush and I dip just the very bottoms of the bristles just barely with the paint. And then it's almost like a stippling, um, just kind of like a tap, 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 stippling kind of motion to blend with the paintbrush. Or you can also use a balled up sponge or a dry sponge of some sort. Uh, for some of this, I was using a kitchen sponge that I wadded up and was moving around also to blend the areas and just a little bit at a time. Just really layering on those colors and building the colors up slowly rather than a whole bunch at once and it's too far in one direction. So just tapping gently, moving the colors around, adjusting, adding, and just layering, layering, layering. And so it takes a while and it takes a while to get the feeling situated, how it feels when you're layering it correctly. And then for the stars, I used a little bit of white paint that was watered down a little bit and just kind of flicked a toothbrush over the painting to give that speckling of stars. And now for the silhouettes at the bottom, I'm just slowly building those up with pure black paint and just slowly building shapes for the ground and then I will start working on the saguaro cactus to kind of get the shapes that I want it to be. And then after all of this is said and done, everything is dried for at least 24 hours. I used Mod Podge to set all the paint as a varnish over the top of it to just lock everything in to make sure that it will last.
thank you so much for watching. If you like that video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 1K before the end of 2020, making things a little bit positive. Be sure to stay safe, healthy, and I will see you in the next one.